Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects in math, the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, so let's get started. The Pythagorean Theorem deals particularly with right triangles. So here we go. Here we have a right triangle. And uh, I think it's about time I finally introduce to you the proper names of the sides of a right triangle. We will call both of these sides that are close to the right angle, the leg, and the side that's opposite that right angle is called the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. So there was this Greek mathematician, his name was Pythagoras, and he came up with this theorem that there was a way, that there was a relationship between the legs and the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Do you want to know what he came up with? Well, here's what he said. He said that the square of this leg plus the square of this leg equals the square of this leg. And here's how he drew it out. So I'm going to do it over here. So let's say that this side was a 3, this side was a 4, and this side was a 5. So when he says the square of this side, he literally is talking about making a 3 by 3. You know, I'm going to use a different color. I always think about using different colors after I started drawing. Okay, so we're going to make a 3 by 3 square, one, okay, it's, I know, it's a little rough, but there you go. There's my three, put it in the inside, and now let's do the other side. It's a four by four. Here we go. Um, did I do that right? Yes, I did. Boom, and then half, boom. Boom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. He said that if you add this one plus this one, it's going to equal that one. Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, eleven, twelve, sixteen. Yes. We have sixteen here. So if we added nine plus sixteen, we get twenty-five. Well, let's see if it actually works on the other side. We're going to do a 5 by 5 square. And hopefully you're beginning to figure, well, that's definitely not looking like a square, Nicole. There we go. A little better. All right, see if I can draw five of these. One. It's not so easy to draw on the board. Don't judge. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One. Ooh, that's rough. Two. Okay. Maybe I should have gotten a ruler out for this one. <laughs> okay, just imagine that they're nice and square and equal. But the point is that there's five on this side. So five by five square is one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, which is exactly what we said. So all of that to say that this side, which we're going to call A squared, plus this side, we call that b squared, equals that side, which is c squared. Now let's try it with some actual numbers. Take a look at this right triangle. And remember, the Pythagorean theorem only applies to right triangles. So we have a leg that's eight and a leg that is six. Let's actually label them inches. And we need to find the hypotenuse, the c. So let's plug it into our formula a squared to a squared plus b squared 6 squared equals c squared. Let's do the math. 8 times 8 is 64. 6 plus 6 is 36. And let's add those two together. We get 100 equals c squared. So essentially c squared means c times c. What times what equals 100? How about 10 times 10? It's the same thing as saying the square root of 100. So the square root of 100 is 10. So our missing side is 10 inches. That's how the Pythagorean theorem can be helpful. And because we can find missing sides, we can do things like find the perimeter. So let's solve for this and find the perimeter. So we have, oh, let's make it a right triangle first, and let's make it centimeters. All okay, right, let's do it. A squared, five squared, plus B squared, we don't know B, so we keep it B squared, equals 13 squared. Let's fill in the numbers that we know. 
Five, five times five is 25, plus b squared equals 13 times 13 is 169. Now let's solve. Let's get rid of our 25 by subtracting 25 from this side. And we get 144. So b squared equals 144. b equals the square root of 144. Square root of 144 is 12. So let's use that to find the perimeter, which we know is just adding up all of the sides. So we're going to add 5, 12, and 13. Um, that's going to be 30 centimeters is our perimeter. Okay, so you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find that missing sign, and then use that to apply it to a word problem, or find the perimeter, or even find the area of something. Definitely take a look at the practice problems. I've got a few of those ready for you. Okay, that's it. It's Nicole the Math Lady. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.